This is Top Contender Box. We keep it real, 100 and unbiased. Today's topic is the Errol Spence versus Bud Crawford undisputed belt at 147. So, what was your thoughts and opinion on the fight? And, when, and you know, break it down. Oh, that was a great fight. Bud Crawford, he dominated from the first round to the last. Dropped him three times. On the second round, when he dropped him, AJ showed how, how, how patient he was and how good he was. He made Earl Spence look like an amateur, yeah. point blank. You know, my, my point for Earl Spence in those first early rounds, he came in uh, he came in aggressive, like he was trying to show a statement, Earl Spence. He was, he was letting his hands go a little, a little rugged. And I, and I think that's where Bud Crawford, because Bud Crawford even said that, he, uh, that Errol Spence's jab was going to be trouble. And as you notice, yeah, like you said, Errol Spence was being more patient. He was making him miss a lot, you know, the, 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 the jab. Um, I mean, Errol Spence, yeah, he just looked real eager in those first couple rounds. I really thought that Errol Spence was going uh, to win because cause of his weight and everything. But, hey, that just shows you that, that he can't fight Canelo, right? Yeah, yeah. Because Earl Spence was calling out Canelo saying that he would go up to 54 and then try to get it down to 65. Blah, blah, blah. Meet up, yeah, yeah, somewhere for Canelo. But, you know, I mean, one thing about Earl Spence, he showed a true master class, uh, a master class fight today. Uh, uh, I mean, Bud Crawford. Uh, master class. He was being very patient. You know, he uh, he was calculating everything. He, everything he threw, he threw with a purpose. He had beautiful shotgun jabs, good, great hooks, you know, beautiful uppercuts. Everything he threw... Everything he did was just perfect. Yeah. You know, the from the jabs, from the from the punches that, that that the you know the power punches that he threw, you know, everything was just perfect. He just kept on counting Spence, you know, Spence had nothing to you know to come back with, you know. Anything he came back with was nothing, you know. I think I think Ugas, you know, exposed Earl Spence because I know in our last videos last year when we had a we had a video on Ugas and Earl Spence and uh I thought Earl Spence, I mean, got exposed during Ugas. Even though Earl Spence got the fight, even we said in the beginning of the fight, look at Earl Spence. He keeps leaning in too much to the fighter. And that's one thing. When you lean in too much with your guard down, you're going to get caught. And you keep getting caught with hooks, you know, coming and forward. Like, to me, you know, like, I, I thought Ugas took a dive on that fight. Cause I think Ugas could have took it, but it seemed, to me, it looked like he gave up. Yeah, it looked like Ugas gave up in yeah. that fight. And um, But it is what it is, you know? It is what it is, yeah. A better competitor... A better fighter, an undisputed 140 pounder that moved up to 147, took it to, took it to Earl Spence. Good for Terrence Crawford, man. I'm proud of yeah. him. Good for him. Good for him. Yeah, great for him. They're saying that uh, there's a rematch clause for this fight. I don't, you know, personally don't want to watch that shit because um, we it just was, saw what happened right now. It wasn't even a fight. It wasn't even a fight. It wasn't even a fight at all. Neither Earl Spence never dropped or hurt, you know, Bud Crawford, and I wouldn't want to watch that because I know Bud Crawford. It's gonna be the same shit. Bud Crawford's going to tear him a new one again. Bud Crawford's just being nice, you know. He's, yeah. Of course, he's just being nice, but... I think the fight's going to be at 154, so they ask. But yeah. I mean, still don't want to watch it. <laughs> I, I just, just saw what happened. Yeah, exactly. You know, so... Earl Spence, there it is, you know. Earl Spence got his ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, he got his ass whooped. I mean, Earl Spence, you know, like, he was he was good for a moment. I just think that a lot of, a lot of factors came in. You know, we could say the car accident really changed his mindset. The broken fra the fracture orbital, you know... It, it made him a lot gun shy, but in these first couple of rounds, he was throwing everything. Imagine if Manny would have hit him. If Manny would have fought him. A, a healthy Manny? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> would have broke his face. Would have broke his face. But, um, you know, we'll leave it there tonight. It was a good night of boxing. You know, we, uh, fuck, I expected, I thought, I thought this was going to go 12 rounds. Either man was going to go down. But it was one sided the whole night. And, uh, you know, we got, like I said, we got to give it to Errol Spence. You know, I he's number one right now. It's him, Anui, Usyk, and Canelo right there. Your top five, and uh, we can even say Tyson Fury right under Canelo. We got those five guys, and uh, it was a beautiful night of boxing. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you guys.